Rodrigues, Rodrigues, Ranus, Fami, Maharaji, Joanne, Rodrigues, Commissioner, Iscom, His Holiness, Bhakti, Vinoda, Swami, Maharaj, Kerala, Zonal Secretary, His Holiness, Achuta Bhakti, Swami, Pushpanjali, Swami, Shri Padmanabha, Swami, Temple, Shri Jagat Sakshi Das, Tirgendran Temple, Prasim, Shri Vikram Govinda Das, Kanya Kumari Temple, Manager, Shri Chris Venu Gopal, Actor and Media Personality, Priya Sahodri, Sahodri Sahodran Mari. I love you for my dependent. I am absolutely delighted to address this august audience of devotees and well-wishers of Gross Sabaman at the Shri Shri Krishna Balram Temple of International Society for Krishna Consciousness at Paniche in Tiruvananthapura. We all know that we are celebrating the 150th anniversary of Sri Bhakti Siddhant Saraswati, the spiritual master of Naya Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Pibhupada, the founder of International Krishna Consciousness Committee. Srila Bhakti Siddhant Saraswati Thakur's instructions inspired the establishment of his form, which today spreads the Vedic Dharma all over the world. Among the sages who have devoted their lives to the propagation of Vedic wisdom, Acharya Swami Prabhupada holds a unique position for his unparalleled achievement in disseminating the spirit of bhakti all over the world. His gifted oratory and writing style had earned him the title of Acharya Kesri. He has authored over 100 books on spiritual and astrological subjects, among which Surya Siddhan is the most famous book and is still used by astrologers and astronomers. Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati had visited Tiruvananthapuram in 1931. He stayed at the Padma Vilasam Palace, went to the Padmanabha Swami temple, and then moved further south to Kanyakubai. As a mark of respect to his contributions, Honorable Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi ji had recently released a special commemorative poem. Why we celebrate the sacred memory of his divine life, we are reminded of the greatest of his contributions, namely the spiritual mentoring of Swami Prabhupada. Swami Prabhupada's meeting with his spiritual master, Bhakti Siddhant Saraswati Thakur, in Priyagraj, where Gurudev instructed him to spread the message of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in English language and his various spiritual experiences are well known to the devotees. He followed his master's advice 
propagating propagation of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's message without discrimination of any kind, nationality, race, color, or ethnicity. In many of his lectures, Acharya Prabhupada had reiterated that the purpose of religion was to train people how to love God and that one will feel the perfection within oneself when one develops love of God to the fullest extent. When Srila Prabhupada began the International Society for Krishna Consciousness in New York in 1966, he had clearly stated the purpose of his endeavor. His desire was to systematically propagate spiritual knowledge to society at large to educate all people in the techniques of spiritual life in order to achieve real unity and peace in the world and to propagate a consciousness of Lord Krishna as it is revealed in Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavata. He aimed to bring people closer to Krishna, the prime entity, so that it developed within the members and humanity at large a feeling that each soul is part and parcel of the quality of Godhead as propounded by Srimad Bhagavad Gita. Mame Vansho Jiva Loke Jiva Bhuta Sanatana Man Shashtani Indriyani Pirkirti Isthani Karsha It is only It is only a very small part of my internal self which is the life of the universe drawing round itself the six senses, the mind the last, which have their source in nature. Acharya preached this love of God to the world and brought about a global awakening and transformation in the human approach towards Supreme Godhead. As founder, friend, philosopher and guide, Acharya helped the Hare Krishna movement grow into a global fraternity of over a hundred temples, ashrams and cultural centers that imparted to the world, especially to the West, the wealth of the ancient teachings of Vedic India. All these undoubtedly made Srila Prabhupada the greatest ambassador of India's spiritual heritage in the modern era. He traveled worldwide 14 times to preach the idea of Vasudev Kutumbukam, the oneness of the entire human society. And his several volumes of bhakti literature based on Bhagavad Gita and Srimad Bhagavatam continue to inspire readers worldwide. The spiritual quest has never been smooth for anyone. It is the strong determination to attain spiritual awakening that keeps one going forward. I understand that in 1965, in his 60s, Srila Prabhupada who managed a free passage in a cargo ship to New York, he suffered two heart attacks aboard, but that did not deter his spiritual pursuit. After 35 days at sea, 
He arrived at a lonely Brooklyn block with just 40 rupees in hand and a crate of his translations of sacred Sanskrit texts, Srimad Bhagavat. However, once he started conveying the message of Gita to people in a humble manner, it resonated well with many young people, some of whom came forward to become serious students of the Krishna Bhakti mission. Sirila Prabhupada's most significant contributions, perhaps, are his books numbering over 70 and which are highly respected by scholars for their authority, depth, fidelity to the tradition and clarity. The teachings of Srila Prabhupada emphasize the need for a risk for a spiritual renaissance, not just in India, but all over the world. And this is exactly what the Indian cultural heritage or spiritual heritage is all about. It has a universal vision. It does not think only, it does not think in exclusive terms. It includes everybody. And that is why, unlike other civilizations, Indian civilization has been defined by Atma, all-inclusive Atma, which, which does not make a discrimination between men and women, but it does not leave out even animals, birds, or plants. We have to view everything with respect, because all these things, all beings, they all have the Atma. Ahem Brahmasmi, Tattvamasi, Pragyanam Brahma, Ayam Atma Brahma. With the spirituality being the soul of our nation and the fountainhead of our civilization, the teaching of Sri Prabhupada, which promoted egalitarian thought, love for the suffering millions, and the satisfying power of renunciation have great significance in the world in which we are living today. The sense of renunciation was shown by this Acharya in his detachment in real life after having influenced millions of followers. His recent biography points it out. It says, Srila Prabhupada was able to detach his own spiritual journey and message from even the boundaries of the physical movement that he gave birth to. Therein lies the evidence of his spiritual strength. Doing everything for Krishna or the Supreme Being is the message that this movement conveys. It demands greater sincerity in action. And as I said earlier, it demands, it demands a firm realization of oneness of the existence. Ekatmuta. What is the preaching of Gita? It says that to behold forms is the dharma of the eye. I see you as you are, as you appear to me. That is the dharma of the eye. The support or substatum of all form is Brahma. When you look at an object, when I look at you, that instead of looking at you, I see Brahma in you which is the one essence and Gita asked me to abandon all other forms as they are illusory and unreal. Sarva dharman paritiyajya maam ekam sharanam virja ehem tua sarva papibhya moksha yishyami ma shucha giving up all forms of pride and beauty. 
take refuge in me alone. I shall free you from all sins. Therefore, do, there is no reason for you to grieve if you take refuge in me. Shri Ramakrishna Paramhans had advised Swami Vivekananda to see everyone as Shiva. Shiva Jnani Jiva Seva meaning to serve Jiva as Shiva. The idea is that since man is potentially divine, service to man indeed is service to God. It means instead of looking upon a needy person as an object of pity, look upon him as an object of worship. Such an attitude elevates both the giver and the recipient. Religion is not about worship of an irate father, but the self in us, the light in us, the light ahead of us, the light to, we, the light to which we advance falteringly on account of the unworthiness of our eyes. Deho Devalaya Prokto Jivo Deva Sada Shiva For us, the Supreme Paramatma in the form of Jivatma is within us and therefore the body is called the abode of God and the spirit is Shiva, the Lord himself. What a beautiful composition, uh, part of a composition of Adi Shankaracharya where he said, Eta Upadhi Para Jiva Yosayo Samyam nirase na paro na jiva. Rajyam narendra se bhata se khetka istayor pohe na bhato na raja. It's only the illusion, the maya, which makes you make the difference between the paramatma and the jivatma actually. If you develop the path of samyam nirase, brahma dirishti, sam dirishti, then all differences disappear and what a beautiful simile he gives. He says the ruler sitting in his palace and the man is standing on his gate, remove the upadhi, remove the uniform, make them wear the same clothes and remove the upadhi and then ask people what is the difference between the two. There is no difference between the two. This is the message of India. When our sages have repeatedly said that India has something to give to the world because every other civilization, I'm not trying to criticize anybody, no, everyone has a right to develop according to their own genius. But other civilizations were defined by the color of the skin, by the express, how one expresses one's faith in the deity, language which one speaks. Indian thought leaders rejected all these alienable and variable factors and they said no, Indian civilization and culture and Indian worldview shall be determined by, it shall be defined by Atma, which is common inheritance of all mankind. Therefore we see here Acharya from Japan, we see here a devotee from Kenya, and we see, we can see, there may be many other people whom I have not met here. Therefore, as we celebrate the 150th anniversary birth of Shri Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati, we realize the beauty of the real blessing the world had received from him in the form of a great unmatched teacher, Sri Prabhupada. I hope and wish the mission of Sri Prabhupada would gain more vigor and strength and more people will come forward to, to spread this message of love and unity in the years to come. My best wishes to everyone who is present here. Loka Samastha Sukhina Bhavantu, Valde Nani, Jai Hind.